Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are all doing good. I'm Ijevin, and today we're on episode 35. First thing we gotta do today, guys, is we gotta get food. Then once we get food, we're gonna come back, and I think I'm actually gonna clean the top of up here, because this place is kind of looking a little dirty, to be honest with you. Not looking so hot around here. Anyways, um, Joe Hills had posted in chat a couple days ago that his um food shop had been restocked so we are gonna take a ride over to the shop district yeah. hopefully i can find it this time because the other times i couldn't find it this place is so crazy why is there like a thousand arrows over there <laughs> now if i'm not mistaken Joe's shop is, I think it's right here, isn't it? This thing right here? I'm not sure though, what is this? Chop shop. False shop license. Fine bacon and hermit steak, one diamond, one stack. Okay, so he still doesn't have any in here then. Um. See, that makes me think that there might be another one. Welcome to Wood World. Uh, chop shop drive through window. Is there no other spot in here? Mm, not really. Well, then, uh, I guess we'll look around and see if we can't find another food shop. Then, well, because I, I don't know where he would have put his other shop at, is the thing. I know we can check downstairs, nothing over there. Hmm. Let's try this place right here, I think. Uh, Bone Barn. I don't know. I don't know where the food shop is. I think I'm going to have to watch Joe's uh, Hermitcraft episodes to see. Because I really have no idea. So I'll cut back in just a second. Okay, so I found the steak shop, but once again, it's empty. Which kind of sucks. So this is Joe Hill's uh, steak shop, and somebody came in and bought the three stacks of steak that were in here, which makes Jevin sad because I the only food that I have left on the server are these two. I have like nothing left, and I was thinking maybe I could just try to you know find another shop around here that sold something, which you know could be a thing, but I'm not really seeing anything. I love this colored combination. What is all this? This is like a garden area. It's pretty clever looking, actually. I really, really like that color combination. So what is this shop? Uh, these are books. Soak touch. Okay. There. All books are four diamonds each. I don't have any food in there, do I? Okay, well. Interesting, another bookshop, but yeah, I'm not really seeing any food. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking, but both of the st uh, of the pork chop shops uh, that we have on the server are both sold out, and I'm like, I need food. Um, the only other thing I could think to do would be, we know Joe Hills where Joe Hills beef shop is. We know like where the the big thing is, so we might take a flight over there real fast and just take the steak and cook it ourselves and still pay him the diamonds for it. So maybe we try that instead, because I can't think of anything else. So... I really need to get some farms going. I need to remind Tango when he gets back from Minecon. See, everybody, the problem is, is that most of the people that play on the server are like majority of the people are, are going to Minecon, and I'm not, so... There we go. I would love to be at Minecon, just uh, I'm trying to get my life together, and life together doesn't mean that I can take really trips anywhere. Okay, so this is Joe Hill's uh, cow farm. And I'm thinking that if we can maybe... He's got all these cows. I just don't know how this works, and I don't want to mess anything up. 
Toggle breeding with water. You get all kinds of redstone in here. Is there a collection area somewhere, maybe? Or do we just you run in there and collect them and pick them up yourself? And let me see if there's any chests around here that have beef in there or anything like that. Um. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be getting any food today anytime soon. <laughs> this is not good. Nothing in there. Uh, bread. Uh, nothing in there. Okay, well, I have no idea how this thing works. So. It's like he has a gate right here. So it looks like all the cows are pushed into that area. I don't know what that's for. Um, yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just, I don't want to like break anything or anything like that. So I'm going to get out of her and just hope and dream another day for some food. Whoa. That was trippy. Okay, well, um, I wonder, you know, the one thing that I didn't even consider was back over this way. We had that farm at the beginning of the server. I don't know if that was taken down or not, though. Right here. Majority of that is still there. Okay. Free arrows. Oops. No. How this? Mumbo's temporary storage. Community mine shaft. No coffee allowed. Biffa. <laughs> okay. So I mean, I've got all this food here. If I really, really need it, uh, I'm gonna take a look around and see what I got though. Oh, okay. I had to do it the old-fashioned way. I had to go and collect food. Uh, we're good now for a while, though, so we should be able to, you know, move forward and not have any problems. Sorry for the burp. I just, man. Um, so I've got an idea about what I want to do today, and I think you guys are going to like it. So let me put some of this stuff away. So my idea is to expand on this bridge a little bit. So this bridge itself is I like it a lot, actually. Uh, the design of it's, you know, it's nice and neat. And the problem that we ran into was the stairway. But who says we really need a stairway? What if we go along the edge of the mesa, you know, three or four, maybe five blocks wide and run it into sort of the entrance into our base? You know, we'll step down sort of four or five blocks as we go every couple, you know, every 20 or 30 blocks. And then we just kind of run it towards the edge here. And then our entrance to our base is right there. I think that could work out pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, so first thing we need to do is we need to kind of peel the stuff away real fast. So let's get rid of all this. You're going by, bye bye bye. Okay. There we go. Oh, by the way, guys, I do want to apologize for yesterday. Um, I said that there was going to be a second video out, the Sky Factory 2.5. I'm having some issues with Sky Factory. I can't get the pack to load. So once I'm done recording Hermitcraft here today, I'm going to try my best to troubleshoot it and get the pack up and running. Um, but for some reason, I just can't get it to launch. And I don't know why. I don't know if it was like uh, corrupted when I saved last or, you know, something like that. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with it. So um, I'm going to figure out what's going on. OK, so we have a couple options here. We can go down by the stairs or we can go down by slabs. Let me pick all this up real fast. There we go. And then we'll get rid of that stuff. And then these need to go. That'll have to be replaced. So I'll fix the rest of this a little bit later. Polish it all up once we're done. So basically the premise is, is that, you know, we're going to have a pathway that comes along the side of this mesa. We might have a cool little overhang as well, but we need to decide where we're going to start dropping it down. 
Um, now we can drop it down over t on any part that we want, but we, we don't really have a lot of space. So maybe just like right here would be a good spot to go down. Um, okay, so let's, let's do this. Let's see. Where shall we put the drop downs? Thinking maybe, uh, let's go a little bit further. I think like, yeah, like right there. Just trying to find the, you know, a feel, I feel like a spot that's natural to it. And then like right there. And of course I would fall off. Uh, let me go grab some more blocks real fast. Cause I got stone brick for days, folks. Okay. There we go. All right, so uh, it's going to come along here, and I will have to clean all this up as well, obviously, because we just kind of left it like the way it was. So it'll drop down here. And then maybe here. Because we still, you know, we still got a pretty good distance of ways to go. Maybe here. It's going to be a sweet walkway, though, that's for sure. We need to start going down further. There. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually making pretty good choices here. There. And then there. I want we'll to figure something out special for the uh, for the way to get down from like this point. Okay, so that's pretty far. Let's go down again. So something like that, I think. And that'll be what I'm thinking. I'll probably do is like say I, each block has a point. I'll probably just go four from each block. That'll give it sort of like a definition uh, to what each side will be. There we go. That might be a little bit too far or too short, I mean. So something like that, I think. So like I said, each one will have sort of maybe four wide, two, three, four. Something like that, maybe. Actually, since it's four, it would only go to here. Just like that. So I'm going to work on this some more and get the platform built. Uh, then we'll come back and sort of take a look and see how we like it. Okay, so now that we've got this built up for wide, I want you to take a look at it before we move on. Uh, there's a couple things that need to be done. Like, it's nice and smooth, the pathway is. But as you can see, uh, the thing that it's butting up against is really ugly looking. Like the mesa here. So what I need to do is I need to come through pretty much grabbing... Uh, as much clay as I can, I think. Let's just grab like a bunch of different colors here. Because I know I've got like just bajillions of clay in here, like orange and yellows and things like that. Okay, so now that we have that, wherever we go and we see something flat, we need to replace it with the color that it is behind it. So something like, well, that's the wrong color. Hold on. Uh, hardened. There we go. Uh, did I not grab hardened clay? There we go. It's kind of trickery. So just like this, right? Not only is that going to fill in sort of any blank spots that we have, that's going to, it needs to be probably two to three high as well. Um, cause we don't, you know, we don't want it to be the same height as us. That's kind of, you know, pointless. So I would need I need more orange, I think. But then we can worry about maybe an overtop part or something like that. Or do I have any just basic orange? I'm assuming I do. 
or not? Why is orange like the hardest to find? What the heck? So many spiders. All right, well, there's a little bit of orange. I'm definitely going to need more. If I have to make more, I will. It's fine. But. So what we want to do is we just want to terraform this like it would be terraformed as a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Um, so like, not there, but. Here, 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 here. So that kind of builds that up a little bit. Another thing I'm thinking about doing is kind of flattening out the side of this. Um, because as we walk down through here, it's going to look much better if this is flat. It'll kind of look like we kind of cut it to make it fit this area. So just got to get the right, <laughs> the right clay. <sighs> so something like that. Thinking either two or three high, maybe, maybe three high. Um, We'll have the awning start maybe like right here or something. And then it's just going to come all the way down. Another thing I was thinking of is we've got to do supports too. i um, not sure how I really want to go about doing that. Color all this in with that. And then... Yeah, so it's just uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep doing this. Just all the way down. Filling that in, trying to make that look as best I can. Um, so what I want to do now is I did logs every two on the bridge. Let's see. Do I have any spruce over here? If not, we might have to run over to log fellas. In there. I know I've got wood here. Might all be downstairs. There we go. So now we need supports for this, obviously. And I mean, it could be, let's say, every four. One, two, three, four. So the first one would be like right there. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Something like that. We'll try to space them out to make them look even, obviously. But and then it's going to take a lot of wood down below as well. Now, the only thing is, is that I'm not sure how I want to fill that in. What we could do is we could do what we did on the bridge and take stairs and kind of just do the same design that we have on the bridge there where we have stairs on the sides. Um, you. Yeah. Okay. So if we did that, then it would just be like... Wherever this comes out, we just need to flip that upwards. Like that. And then we would just need fences to connect those together. Just like that. That that could work. I mean, it would make it five wide instead, but I still think it would work pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, Let's try to get a, another eye on it here and see. I actually think that would look... You know decently well there once we get the wood all placed and everything uh, spacing the woods gonna be the hardest by far um, I'm probably gonna need a bunch more wood uh, so let's just go ahead and knock that out of the way now let's go ahead and take a flight over to log to the wood shop real quick I know I don't even know if I, I didn't watch the trial but I know that log fellas got in trouble there we go and I need my diamonds, which I think are down here. There we go. There we go. So let's take a quick flight over to the shop area. We'll grab a bunch of spruce wood. Man, sometimes I can just not get this bow to work. See what I'm saying? I love that grass down there. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting that they put stairs here. Yeah. 
And what is it? Logs free. Um, I'm kind of confused. Do I not have to pay anything? Hold on. Log Villas Emporium. Free quality would await you. Sign up today, become a log mason, and gain access to supply logs, all six varieties. Okay, well, how do I become a log mason then? Oops. <laughs> What's this? Sign up to become a log mason. I'll receive a gift package. Write your name in the book to sign up. Okay. Has anybody else signed up? There we go. Oh, I didn't save it. And in the meantime, since I can't get wood from down there, because I don't think it's mine. I know that there was like two more or one more wood shop over here. I'm going to go to that tall tree over there real fast. Fap, fap, fap. <laughs> That's all I hear. Okay. Yeah, welcome to Wood World. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm a <l> <laughs> what do I do? Is this Wood World? Oh, they changed it. This used to be the horse shop. I was confused. Okay. I want uh, spruce. The spruce. Pay what you want. I mean, I'll I'll pay a diamond for a stack. I feel like that's fair. Let's go with five stacks. I think that'll do. So um, head back over to the base now, and I'm going to work on the placings of the logs. Okay, so I have been building, and it's coming along, you know, quite nicely, actually. I've got the pillars in, and so now we have to do the siding, and this is the part I'm unsure of. I think what I'm going to do is um trying to think here i think for the first part of this because i just realized what i made a mistake here i want this one there's going to be one that's a little bit longer than the rest i think i think i'm going to put this one here because as you can see there needs to be a bridge there in between those i think that could work out so if we put that there and then you, you, you. Hmm. See, I don't, I, I kind of wanted it to be like four in between and that makes that like really, really big. Okay. Maybe we'll try it where we have it and see what it comes out to be real fast. I used just about all that wood we bought too. All right, so let's see we go here that kind of works out but then that takes away from the pathway right so what we could do is we could do this but that that kind of makes it a little bit bulkier than I wanted you know what I'm saying makes it really really big actually so then if we want to do it like that, then we need to do this and then this. And then we have to, you know, build the curves. I have no idea if that actually came out to what it's supposed to be. Looks like it. So I guess if we did it like that, then it would need to be there. How's that looking? Let's go over here and take a look at that. I mean, that's that seems fine. I can't I, I shouldn't fuss over the small details. That's one of the things that I've always been known to do is I'll redo something like six times if I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So from now on, I'm not going to fuss over those details. I'm going to I'm going to be 
Zen Master Jevin. And I'm going to just do it and then rather than complain about it, just marvel at how nice it looks. Uh that's kinda that actually kinda works out on some of those sides like that. There we go. This is gonna be a super nice pathway down to our base, by the way. I really like this. There we go. So let's take another look at it now that we've got it established a little bit. I'm yeah, you know what? I'm super fine with that. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, the only thing we'll need to do is we need to come back through with slabs and hit those up right there, wherever it goes down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue this all the way down to where we have it. And then I'm going to add the slabs in and we'll come back and check it out. OK, guys, I actually got a lot done. Um, just ran out of everything that I needed to. I needed like like fence posts and I needed like everything pretty much is to say this time to not speed up anymore. There we go. Anyways, so let's go take a look at what I've gotten done so far. Just takes a little bit of work there. Oh, Jesus, die already. This is my fly bow, so it doesn't do a lot of damage. So I've been adding these posts to wherever we don't have them connected like this. Some spots, I'm not sure what I want to do. Then I put slabs in wherever it comes down. Um, it's just taking, you know, it's taking a lot of work to get there. I do want to take a look at it from the other side, though. I feel like it's kind of getting sloppy, so I just want to see what it looks like, I think. Take a look at it from right here. You know, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, like, spots like right there that's okay but wherever it goes down one it's kind of messed up a little bit so i don't know it's it's kind of kind of hit and miss in some spots you know what i'm saying i think we just picked bad spots maybe to go down um stupid cape there we go it, it doesn't look too bad though no it's definitely uh it's definitely getting there uh, I do like it, though, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, obviously make sure you hit that like button. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching. This is iJevin. Peace out.